Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity given to us, and also thanks for watching our video, guys. Uh, first of all, thanks to God Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala who has given us opportunity and healthy so that we can attend uh, so that we can uh, present material today. And don't forget to send the best regard for our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who has brought us from the darkness to darkness. Well, we are from group 4 and today we are going to present the materials about intercultural competence and bilingual education. Before presenting the materials, I, as the moderator, I will introduce the presenters first. The first presenters is Nur Magpira, the second presenters is I myself, and then the third presenter is Inkuri Adhya Kudri, and the last presenter is Muhammad Ahya. Well, after introducing the presenters, let's begin our discussion. I will invite the first speaker to present her material. Time is yours. Okay, uh, the first material from our group is inter intercultural competence in bilingual education. The first is if we, if we are talking about intercultural competence, the first thing that we have to know is is about what uh, what the first is what is the what what is the part of uh, culture that, that is related to intercultural intercultural competence. It is including uh, concept of identity. Ident identity is about uh, 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 a person's. Uh, what what is the person's or who is the person's uh, identity? Include include. Uh, include uh, the characteristic of uh, one person, and then culture is about uh, someone believing, some uh, how someone thinking, and and how someone uh, interact with each other, and then intercultural intercultural the counter and competence is about the ability of someone, the ability of someone to. Uh, communicate with each other with a different culture who have a di different culture next please okay the first is the definition of intercultural competence and bilingual education next intercultural competence the first is intercultural and then uh, the second is competence so the first what is inter intercultural 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 uh, is the situation between people of different cultures including different religions of and then different group different uh, uh, it is include a different nation and then and then the second is competence uh, as we know that competence is uh, as a casual everyday used as the synonym of uh, abilities so uh, intercultural competence is the ability co to communicate and behave in appropriate ways with those who are culturally different and to recruit self speech teams and organization that are inclusive, effective, innovative, and satisfying. Next, please. Okay, in intercultural competence, in intercultural competence, of, or let's say that why intercultural, why we need intercultural competence in. Uh, bilingual education because why? Because in intercultural competence we uh, learn about understand and respect. Uh, the second is respo respond and appropriate and then establish uh, establish hand and con constructive and then understand. So what is understand and respect? Understand and, and respect in here is uh, in intercultural competence as a learner of 
bilingual education, we need to respect and understand about uh, the other culture or let's say that for example if we are in situation that if we are in uh, if we are communicate with uh, people who are who is or who are have a different culture with us and then respond and appropriate we have to respond it with uh, a good attitude and then uh, establish and understand it's about uh, how established I mean established and constructive in here how we uh, how we how we cons constructive uh, relation with uh, the people who have a different culture and then the last is understand understand here is mean that means that understand oneself and once our multiple cultural affiliation through a counter with cultural difference so um, why uh, if, uh, why the learners of bilingual education have to understand about inter understand or have a competence in intercul intercultural because uh, as a bilingual uh, learner we have to
people, if, 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 if people want to speak to another, uh, to other people from a foreign language or foreign up or from abroad, uh, it, it's better for them if they also learn about the cu their cultures. Uh, I mean, the cultures of the foreign uh, people. So, so it can make it easy for them to speak with the foreign people. And then the third one is about knowledge. Yes, it's also uh, one of important competence in intercultural competence. Uh, no, um, as I said before that, if we know about the people's culture, we can speak with them easily. And then, uh, to obtain uh, the knowledge, the students must learn an awareness, preferences of associate with the cultures. If the students know about the cultures, it can complete their knowledge, it can complete their uh, understanding in uh, understanding uh, the environment. And, uh, and also, it's also important for the students to know the identity of the culture. Of the identity, uh, I mean that, uh, such as uh, if these people or if the students know about the historical of the culture, uh, of the country, the students can know about the habits, the students can know about the cultures, the students can know about uh, and many things about uh, the, the country. And then the next one is about skills. Okay, uh, it's the last competence in intercultural competence, skills. Uh, skills it appears uh, through the integration between uh, the previous competencies and in this skills are, are divided to, into three skills. Okay, next. Uh, the first skill is interpretative skill, and the second skill is behavioral skill, and the third uh, skill is relational skill. Okay, I start from the first uh, skill that is interpretative skill. Interpretative skill is a skill uh, to identify the body language in addition to obtain understanding, uh, with, uh, understanding with uh, each other. In this case, the students are able to interpret uh, the, uh, the communication and the actions from in our from interlocutors. And then the second one is about behavioral skill. Behavioral skill is a skill to adapt uh, his own culture to the foreign culture. In this case, the students are able to make an adaptation between uh, their cultures and also the foreign cultures. And then the third one is about a relational skill. Relational skill is a skill to uh, use uh, the different courses, the different I mean the different sources of information about the, uh, the other cultures. And by knowing uh, and by having the, the different different uh, sources, the students can know uh, all the, the similarities and the opposite or the differentiation between their culture and also the foreign cultures. And I think that's all for uh, the material from me. And I invite the third speaker to present her material. Thanks, um, Okay. Uh, thank you very much for the chance. Uh, well, I'm going to take my turn. Uh, in my part, I'm going to present or so I'm going to discuss about the process of model of intercultural competence. Okay, in a process model of intercultural competence itself, actually, it involves um, uh, five uh, elements actually. Uh, the first one is the attitude, the second one is the skills, and the third one is uh, about um, knowledge. The third one is, uh, is the internal outcomes, and the last one uh, is uh, the external uh, outcomes itself. But before uh, explaining out about this um, about this uh, part, uh, I'm just want to. Uh, Now that actually, uh, based on uh, Dirdor 2006, uh, he believes that uh, there are uh, three, uh, there are three uh, the key of uh, the, the key of elements of intercultural competence. The first one is the uh, skills, and the second one is the uh, knowledge, and the third one uh, is uh, attitude. And then why uh, Dirdor? Uh, Put it into one, especially like why there are five elements based on uh, his uh, experiments. Is because when 
the process model of intercultural competence uh, is happening, actually there are two outcomes uh, will be uh, uh, possible uh, happen. The first one is an internal and the second one is um, external outcomes. Uh, okay, well, uh, on, on this slide, actually this is uh, one of the regulations or let's say like the, cycle, the cycle of the process model of intercultural competence uh, itself. But if you see on the video, it's not clear yet. Uh, you can uh, see on the PPT points in a F model, it's more clear yet. Okay, in this slide actually, it describes about uh, how that how those elements is relating each other, and according to the group, um, from those elements actually the basic or let's like the fundamental of the elements is attitude. Because attitude here is the I will take my turn and in my part I'm going to uh, explain about the process model of intercultural competence. Okay, um, when we are talking about intercultural competence, especially on its process itself, uh, actually it will include uh, some elements. And for my part, uh, actually I'm going to uh, present five elements. It is based on the experiment result from uh, Dierdorf, uh, 2006. The first one is about the attitude, the second one is about the knowledge, and the third one is about um, uh, skills, and the fourth one is about the internal outcome, and the last one is about external outcome. Um, before uh, explaining out about this process model exam, I just want you guys uh, to know that uh, in a process model itself, actually there are three uh, key components. The first one is the attitude that I have uh, just explained, uh, and then uh, uh, knowledge, and the third one is the uh, um, skills. And for the outcomes, there are two possible outcomes will be uh, happen. There is an internal uh, and external outcome. So that's why I did don't uh, believe that uh, in an intercultural competence process, actually, um, there are five elements uh, is involving uh, each other. Okay, uh, you may uh, take a look on the slide, guys. Uh, this is uh, this uh, describes uh, the process model of intercultural competence, and and the first one is the attitude. Uh, this put attitude in a first why because he believes that. Attitude is the fundamental of this life, it's the basic um, competence in the cultural uh, competence itself. Why? Because uh, um, the way you uh, are facing with someone, it presents your attitude for any example. When I'm facing someone who is from another country, or let's uh, say like for someone from uh, another culture with me, um, my attitude will lead me, will lead me to speak with uh, them. My attitude will lead me to view with that uh, someone. Okay, and the next one is about knowledge and skill. In the knowledge and skill, actually, it will lead someone with the attitude. If someone has the knowledge about the culture and, and someone has the skill to listen and has the skill to evaluate or let's like to analyze and keep and interpret uh, that perspective and then we combine, combine it with a um, how can I say that we combine it with a um, um, skill yeah with the knowledge itself of course it will make our easier to uh, speak with someone with the appropriate way okay and after that uh, process is happening, actually there are uh, internal outcomes. Internal outcome that means here that I feel about individual perspective. Individual perspective refers to that uh, you are, I mean, like your perspective is shifted. Yeah, for an example, like when I'm facing uh, someone from um, abroad, for example, and then uh, before learning their cultures, I believe that someone uh, who is from another culture is different with me and then I don't want to interact with them because 
he or she is unlike one. If I play the intercultural competence itself, and then I try to discover new things, I try to do something for I know more about uh, he, uh, her or his uh, cultures, it will uh, shift my perspective about the persons. After, uh, after facing them, um, we, uh, I will choose the appropriate way in order to communicate with that someone because when we uh, are communicating with someone, it's not only about uh, we speak with them. However, we need to learn the cultures behind of that someone. Because uh, in a communication, it's not only talking about the way you, uh, it's like your performance in a speaking or your performance to communicate with someone. But the things that you need to uh, understand about the respect each other. Okay, and the uh, external outcomes actually happens after internal outcomes. And uh, uh, inter external outcomes uh, is happening uh, when there is a um, there is an interaction. Yes, I have I have I have learned about the broad cultures, and when I meet someone from another side from abroad. I have my own knowledge, I have my own uh, skill uh, and then it will uh, be seen by my attitude to uh, them yeah, for example like I respect their cultures uh, whatever they are okay nice and by the way uh, this is one of the um, how can I say this yeah uh, this is one of the simple way to understand those uh, elements Okay, the first one is the attitude that I have uh, explained just now that attitude will show your uh, respect, your openness and curiosity and discovery and for the respect here, the challenge, you embrace other cultures and diversity it means that you receive that there are, there are more persons than you it means that I'm Bujinist, I'm Taranis when I'm learning intercultural competence, I need to know there are other cultures besides Korajanis and then Bojanis. Okay, and the next one is about the openness. Openness here is about the open-minded. Open-minded here is uh, I I didn't mean about I don't mean that you ignore no ignore you forget your cultures. Open-minded here that uh, our competence to. Um, uh, to uh, to enjoy to enjoy to discover new things yes when we see something when we see new things try to learn it try to understand it don't uh, don't judge it what you have a sense don't judge it you have to know how, what is actually the story behind of that uh, things for example like cultures and the next one is about the curiosity curiosity is about the Having the new perspective as a chance of learning opportunity. So when we are curiously with something, uh, it can open our perspective uh, to news, uh, something. I mean to, to learn new things in our environment. So that's why when we are curious with something, uh, it, it 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 leads me that um, new perspective is the way or is the potential way to learn more uh, cultures and the uh, next one is about the discovery discovery is about the our viewing our perspective uh, is a positive uh, experience and then uh, after uh, discovering something it will open in your mind that you have the new perspective okay and the next one is about knowledge in about knowledge there is a culture self-awareness culture specific social linguistic awareness and the last one is the address of global issues and trends. Okay, uh, and those uh, knowledge uh, and competence actually, we are uh, we are uh, we are going to be conscious about uh, other uh, culture. Means that we are understanding. From say our understanding about other culture is more uh, deeply, and then uh, there is there is there is eager to analyze uh, more. A diversity of the culture itself. Okay, and the third one is about the skills. Skill that I 
that I told you and about the listening, observing, evaluating, and analyzing, and the last one about the critical thinking. I think Aulia uh, has just explained about it. Actually, our skill will help us or lead us uh, to show uh, the best uh, attitude or let's say like the appropriate uh, way in communication. And the outcomes about the internal, external, adaptable, flexible, and correlative view, empathy, and the external value under culture, appropriate, effective communication. So when you have the internal outcomes from the intercultural competence itself, of course it will make you more adaptable, flexible, and more relative view, empathy. So you will not judge uh, someone by what you uh, have since, but uh, you, you are going to analyze you are going to interpret, you are going to evaluate, evaluate it behind of the person or behind of the culture. Okay, and the external here's yeah, after having the new perspective of something and then you are having the new uh, conversation or interactions with others, your attitude will lead you with the appropriate way in communication in order to build a great communication respect. Okay, I think that's all for me and thank you. It's the material for the third speaker, and I invite the last speaker to present his material. That is yours. Okay, thank you very much for just the invitation. I would like to continue on the uh, discussion about intercultural competence activities in minimal education. Uh, next. Ah, uh, yeah. Here, there are two activities. I mean, based on the Abdul and Osman Dewi journal, the group activity based on a strategy to promote intercultural competence within bilingual programs, namely cultural and language engagement through intercultural programs. That's the first, that's first, and second is the cultural engagement through overseas immersion. Okay. First, intercultural and language engagement through country programs. There are two uh, parts. That is the Bantu community and language clubs. Okay. In the Bantu community, act, uh, activity focus on using English, Use, using English friendly, and also learn about the culture of English speaking. Just like uh, uh, what about I mean, the native speaker from the native speaker from American. Uh, United Kingdom and Australia, how they speak and how they how do they speak exactly? And next language clubs, language clubs in here we yeah actually meet in the higher education programs. Uh, activity, I mean the example of activity just like language training. There is a the place to study about the language or speaking listening, other skills, then building one drama performance, multicultural week festivals, English speech competition, and English spelling bee contest. There is activity you can do in language clubs. And next next slide, we, we talk about the cultural engagement through overseas immersion. In here, uh, there are three parts, short term about overseas, mid term overseas, and long term overseas. Okay, in short term overseas, short term overseas, it's uh, office, overseas program between one and four weeks period. I mean, duration. duration. And what you can do between one and four duration, four weeks duration, what you can do, I mean, what, what activity you can do in in that time, uh, yeah, in Abdul and Rosmar Dewi, they say that you can participate in programs, in some programs, just like seminars, international, and conferences, short courses, and short training, short workshop. And midterm overseas, what you can do, I mean, what activity you can do in midterm overseas, it's uh, Participate, I mean, join in community service program, student exchange program, and internship programs. And the last 
long term purposes. Uh, in here, you can you can I mean register in programs. I mean in double degree programs. It's for it activity for purposes. And next, okay, uh, the activity I mean the voluntary activity such as uh, I explained before is uh, usually fall in higher, higher education programs and this is important to support students in adapting, interacting and healthy students in establish friendship and it works on campus. Uh, next, yeah, uh, conclusion, as a conclusion, we from Paul group conclude that intercultural competence is the ability of a person transcend their own cultural boundaries and to interact with people with different linguistic and, and cultural background. Disability can change a person's knowledge, attitude, and behavior to be open and flexible to other cultures. I think that's all for me. Thank you very much. Well, it's the material from us. And we'll open the question, question and answer session in a further application. So uh, if you have a question or if you want to comment or give suggestions to us for us, you may uh, give us in a further application. And the last word we say thank you very much for watching guys. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.